Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. Hope you are doing good. In the previous videos, we have seen electricity bill problem and currency, time and distance converter. In today's video, we will discuss how to generate a payslip using few strategies. Before getting into the video, if you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe my channel RK Keynotes to get more updates. And also you can follow my blogspot and Instagram ID as well. And the codings which I am showing you uh, also I have uploaded in my github profile and I have provided the da uh, downloaded link in my YouTube videos description box do check and download the uh, source code and practice all these things so let's get into the video now so the problem here is to uh, generate a payslip so we're gonna use a class called employee and uh, with these members that is employee name ID address mail ID mobile number fine and we are going to inherit this employee class and we are going to create a programmer class assistant professor class associate professor and professor so by inheriting all these things and here a few strategies are given like uh, consider this 97% uh, of uh, basic pay as uh, DA and 10% of basic pay as HRA and all these things so finally we need to generate pay slip for these employees with their gross and net salary all right so so the points which you want to understand from this is you should know what is default constructor parameterized constructor this keyword and super keyword and basic calculation like how this gross salary net salary is calculated and we you should know you know uh, parameters and arguments and all fine so now let's flip to um, netbeans for the practical implementation over here i'm just going to explain my file structure first yeah, this is my uh, access number 3 folder and within this I have got all these files. The first file which I'm going to show you is employee.java. You, you see this, the package name is ex3 as the folder name. And uh, I have created an employee class as said in the problem statement. And I have declared all the members uh, like employee id, name, address, mail id, uh, mobile number. All these things I have kept in string. This is no need to be in string as it is mobile number. You can change it to int also it will work and um, so um <coughs> but due to limits you know it's good to have uh, even in strings and uh, fine so here this is a default constructor um, there is no use of using this and i have just given that whenever you compile a program this will be created automatically and uh, uh, you see this this is a parameterized constructor and I have given uh, one two three uh, yeah five parameters here and uh, here actually this um, variable name and this parameters are different so no need to use this operator whenever it comes to uh, you know same thing here employee id and even if you use you know employee id here okay so then you need to differentiate which is local variable and which is from this parameter so as of now i have just used this even without using this it will work yeah fine so, so, th so there is no error um, but i have used this just to differentiate between this and uh, you know super so this you can use within a class and super you can use uh, to refer you know uh, parent class members fine so uh, so this is my employee class that's it and the next thing is that is I'm gonna have a, for example let's say let's go with programmer first yeah so here I'm gonna use um, so this is a programmer uh, class which extends employee and here um, we need to calculate this uh, all these things right uh, basic pay gross salary net salary and i'm gonna have a constructor you see this um, i'm gonna pass um, the same thing because i have kept id name address mail and mobile number as common which means that i'm gonna use super keyword to refer all these things so i don't want to uh, declare and you know take input again and again so it, it is i'm using super keyword just to refer these members from the parent class so it is going to refer all these things and i'm gonna have a method so where uh, i'm gonna ask the user to enter basic pay and um, using scanner to take the input uh, as we have already seen how this scanner works and um, so this is uh, for basic pay i'm gonna take this so basic pay is given in double as i said that we need to use next double you see this next decaps and double and uh, I'm going to calculate it. These things are given in the problem statement like 97% of 
uh, you know, uh, BP, uh, I mean basic pay, and PF is how much, fund is how much, all these things are given in uh, the problem statement. You just, you know, mention all the values and divide by 100. And to calculate gross salary, you need to, you know, add BP plus DA plus HRA. For net salary, you need to add BP plus DA plus HRA minus PF, uh, you know, plus fund. So this is what. And just display all these values like employee ID, name, um, address, mail ID, mobile number. So for all these things, we're going to pass uh, arguments uh, in the main class. Okay. Fine. So the same thing goes to uh, other uh, classes. For example, let's explore this one class and we'll go to the another main class. That is, so even for the assistant professor, uh, which extends employee, and um, uh, here the same thing we are going to calculate for all the payslip is going to be same. I mean here we have kept the format as same. Only this basic pay and all these things varies. So sometimes even um, if it is a uh, condition is given to you know uh, for programmer the basic pay home rent allowance might be differ you know and uh, for professor and assistant professor it might differ but here we have just kept as common um, you know just to avoid some confusion and um, so the same thing goes here here I'm using super keyword just to refer the parent class members and uh, all right so the same thing goes to other classes like uh, associate professor I got associate professor over here yeah and uh, I'll just scroll even assistant professor also you can see yeah and uh, the next thing is uh, finally it is professor the same thing goes here and I have used this um, uh, package also like because I'm using scanner here right to accept input so here I have used dot star which means it refers to everything from this URL or you can simply write scanner no issues and uh, yeah even here the same thing goes fine so I think these things are clear so now the next thing is what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have a class called pay slip and uh, over here this is the main class and this is the main method as I said that at least we need to have one main method in a program um, so see these are all the things I mean object I'm going to create here for programmer class this is the class name of the programmer and this is the reference variable which is equal to new so an object will be created and I'm gonna pass all these you know uh, arguments over here like for uh, programmer these are all the things the details the, you know name mobile number and all these things and I'm gonna simply uh, use the reference variable and I'm gonna call the method from the programmer class the same thing goes for all other things I'm gonna create object and pass arguments and call the method and display okay so let's run this uh, program and check the output I'm gonna run this pay slip file so it is going to display uh, um, so enter basic pay for programmer it is going to say I'm gonna write 10,000 so it is going to calculate it and it has displayed that gross pay and net pay and everything so for assistant professor let's say that uh, if the salary is 25,000 let's suppose and uh, it is going to display this much net pay and gross pay and for associate professor if it is 30,000 it is going to display yep and for professor if it is 45,000 okay so this is what about um, payslip generation hope you understood this program and uh, mm, go through my github link you can download the code and you can practice and also I'm gonna show you a few more things that viva questions for exercise number two I'm gonna share that one also with you with with you guys so yeah so these are the questions which I have asked okay. from exercise number two um, I request you guys to pause the video and go through all these things. Packages, types of packages, use of nested switch, while and do while difference, and over here why we are using equal to and double equal to, and uh, dot character, uh, and next double versus next int. I've given um, the answers. Even you can search and you can refer, you can do some research on this, you can find different 
you know points in Buddhist constructor and these things goes so point three places where objects created so you, you need to refer wherever we have used new operator no? so there so that is about object creation and so where we are calling this reference variable so just check the program and so this is about the viva questions of exercise number two right now we are in exercise number three and i'm going to show you the viva questions for exercise number three you, you need to understand all these things and i'll be revealing all these answers in the next exercise so here the questions are default constructor difference between this and super extends and implements um, super keyword and uh, yeah these point two places where arguments are used method where we are calling method inheritance um, about what type of inheritance we have used in the above program that's a good question and uh, dot class file consists of what and what is the use of j hope you understood this and um, if you like the video hit the like button do share with your friends if you have got any queries uh, don't hesitate to comment in the comment section i would uh, be happy to assist you thank you and thanks for watching the video